Not so long ago, this was an area of green meadows on the southern outskirts of Dublin city. Now it is a suburban area of Walkinstown, located partly within the city area, but with a greater part in the area controlled by the Dublin County Council. The area is still growing. There are three very active voluntary bodies at work in the suburb. This report will attempt to describe the activities of one of these bodies, known as the Federation, in short for its full title of the Walkinstown Social and Athletic Federation. Although well and spaciously laid out with a number of fine greens, the suburb lacks a public sports ground or play centre. The provision of a sports centre has been one of the main objectives of the Federation. In such a centre, children could play free from risk of serious accident and assert their youthful exuberance without annoyance to others. After dark recreation is equally important and another objective of the Federation is the provision of a hall for indoor social activities. Splendid open spaces enhance the amenities of the district and provide recreational areas for the smaller children. But the playing of football in these amenity areas is prohibited by the County Council. There are still, however, large and undeveloped fields which could be made into excellent sports centres. The Federation has set itself the ambitious task of establishing a swimming pool in one of these undeveloped areas. Meanwhile, the Federation must content itself with the use of the City of Dublin swimming baths at Tara Street. The enthusiastic young members of this section must travel the nine or ten miles to and from Tara Street. There, under experienced instructors, also dedicated members of the Federation, the children are instructed in the proper art of swimming. Five male and two female voluntary workers instruct the hundred boys and eighty girls who enjoy themselves so thoroughly at these sessions. Here is recreation in safety, and the children learn an art which may help them to save their own lives or the lives of others in some perilous circumstance in the future.
In the summer, the Federation organizes excursions and outings for its members of all ages. excursions, well organized and each at a moderate charge, provide pleasant breaks from the steady routine of life, particularly for hard-pressed mothers. But perhaps it is the youngsters who extract most value from these outings. These pleasant outings encourage the spirit of neighborliness and friendship. average of 300 people who join each outing. It is a day without worries as to transport and all the other details which must engage the attention of a single family on a similar outing. And even if one has a car to avoid the irritations of public transport, as a guest of the Federation on one of these outings, father is relaxed. He is relieved of the strains and worries of driving on congested roads. Given the weather, the Federation provides all else to make each outing a happy and a memorable occasion. The Federation arranges other types of excursions also. There are educational tours for the older children. Around Eastertide each year, well over 100 children have been taken to more distant parts of Ireland. There are prizes for the best essays on each tour for those children who wish to enter the essay competition. Federation 
holds an annual meal street day in its own locality. field is made available by the kindness of the Dublin County Council. The Federation hopes it is the beginning of a permanent play centre for the district.
Federation had its own hall, the frequency and scope of these dances could be extended considerably. The Federation does not confine itself to group sports and recreations. It also arranges instruction in arts and crafts. Accommodation and other problems have only been overcome by one of the voluntary instructors making her own house available for classes. Classes at which leatherwork, needlework and tapestry are taught. Additional classes in arts and crafts have been arranged in the local library by kind permission of the Dublin